Hi, I'm Alex Richardson, a product marketing engineer at Dialog Semiconductor. In this short video, I'll introduce you to GreenPack and the GreenPack Designer software. So let's dive right in. GreenPack Designer is a software platform to help users create, test, and program their own chip level design in minutes. The free software is compatible with any GreenPack part and is available on the Dialog website. To start, select your GreenPack device within the GreenPack launcher window. This window lists the macro cells in each GreenPack device, so you can choose the best match for your application. Please enter the spec requirements of your system, like voltage and temperature ranges. This is the main work area. The menu and toolbar are at the top, the zoom toolbar is at the bottom, and the components list on the right shows you the macro cells available in the device. Macro cells can be added and connected to make an application. By default, the project is configured for minimal power consumption and some components are disabled. Clicking the checkbox of a macro cell will show the cell in the work area. If a component is grayed out, it means further action is needed to enable the device. All macro cells can move and rotate, either individually or in a group. To configure macro cell parameters, double click the cell to open the properties panel. This panel contains all configuration options, including the selection of the combination macro cell type. The flexibility that comes from changing the parameters inside a particular macro cell and setting up the interconnections between macro cells allows you to design the desired functionality. Connect macro cells, select Set Wire. Next, click on the terminal that you want to connect. Green highlights show available connections. Violet indicates that the connection isn't possible with this node. Orange nodes can only be routed using macro cell settings. Wires created with the wiring tool are green, and wires created using macro cell settings are orange. Wires can be replaced by labels to simplify the view of the circuit. Labels can also be added to macro cells. The rules checker will provide a list of areas to investigate for possible project errors, incorrect connections, or settings. Debugging is flexible and can be done in a variety of ways. For breadboarding and fast prototypes, use the DIP development platform. For emulation and testing, use the GreenPack Advanced Development Platform. For higher speed signals, advanced logic generation and advanced emulation of the more elaborate GreenPack parts, use the GreenPack Pro Development Platform. To test without any hardware, use the software simulation mode. It can also simulate internal circuitry. GreenPack in-system programmer allows the emulation and programming of select GreenPack devices using I2C on your target board. The platform configuration guide contains information about suitable sockets, adapters, and boards for the specific chip. Right-click the mouse button on NC, not connected, symbol of the pin to add the test point controls such as signal generator, logic generator, VDD, ground, button, pull up, or pull down. Emulation loads the project into the chip to configure and test the behavior of chip components without permanently programming the part. You can add inputs via software or external pins to monitor your chip's output. LEDs on the Advanced Development Platform and Pro Development Platform can be turned on to see the signal outputs from GreenPack, or lab equipment can be used. You can press the Program button to program the chip with the current project. GreenPack devices with one-time programmable memory cannot be erased and will alert you before programming. So that's the GreenPack Designer software. We look forward to seeing what you can make. For the latest updates, visit dialogsemiconductor.com and go configure.